What up TK family, welcome back to the vlog channel. We are in the hospital right now. If you guys don't know, my sister is in the hospital. She's now living in the hospital for two weeks until delivery of my niece, mm -hmm. which means I'm about to become a uncle for the first time, which is insane because I can't wait to see Kyla mm -hmm. and my niece just play I with wonder, each other. I like, wonder if they're going to have like similarities too and like features. Yeah, that's Because your genes are very heavy in Kyla sometimes. Yes. And like you and all your siblings, you guys have, you could tell your siblings. And you it's, know what I it's mean? crazy too because me and Trisha are in an interracial couple mm -hmm. and so is my sister. She's in yeah. an interracial couple too. So I really want to see like the complexion difference. The complexion difference if the hair type is like the same, like oh, curly. Yeah. So it's gonna be pretty cool to just see them like interact with each other when my niece arrives and she becomes to a certain age where she can be around other babies. They'll only be like 11 months apart too. Yeah, so. which is insane. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, we're here. My sister, she's pulling through in here. Mm -hmm. We brought her some flowers. And if you guys came from the main channel, we are about to give her her gift, which is right over here from Kyla. From Kyla, from so Kyla. this way Chantel doesn't get mad at us. <laughs> <laughs> Say what's up. Oh, and by the way, guys, we did tell you on the main channel, but make sure you guys are subscribed to Chantel and Dan. We'll link it down in the description because they are posting all of their pregnancy journey, all of this whole journey, also their postpartum journey and my niece's journey and all that kind of stuff. So make sure you guys go ahead over there and show them some love. Also, I know you guys are probably sitting there. You guys probably even commented already like, wait, why is she living in the hospital for two weeks? Go to the main channel, but to like sum it up real quick, uh, she has, what is it called again? Preeclampsia preeclampsia which is like she has a high blood pressure and she needs to be monitored on her blood pressure um and she's been getting medicine for it and it's been staying stable so kyla thought that it'd be a good idea to surprise her auntie with this gift mm -hmm. as she's in here because let's just say this one thing i don't i'm not gonna you lie can't i can't say too much it's gonna no, spoil can't. it yeah. yeah it's gonna spoil it all right yeah. so all right yeah let's give her the gift <laughs> all right here so, first gift Oh boy. From Ooh. Kyla. From Kyla. All right, Kyla. What is it? Wait. Can you grab the wrong bag from the house? No, that's the. Wait, this is the wrong bag. Hold on. This is the wrong bag. This is for Chris's mom. Don't the iPad. Case? I told you. I How told you. Grab the wrong bag. No, I told you. No, no, I didn't. No, I told you. You know, you grabbed the wrong no, I did bag. Not. What did Chantel do with an iPad? Case? I told you bring the. I, I was asking you if it was in the blue bag. There's two. That, that means we left the other bag at home. Yeah. So Chantel's only going to get half of her gift. I'm sorry. We'll bring the other half. What right in the world? <laughs> 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 yeah, this is actually yours. That's how you go come here and pull a prank on top of that. Come on, man. <laughs> Sit here in the hospital. I'm actually going a prank, Loki. No, come on. Prank <laughs> oh, what in the world? This is too much. So, look. This, this is, is insane. Look, this is why we got it, or Kyla got it for you. So, I know there's no smart TV, right? No. No it's Netflix, no. Cable. Nothing. Exactly. Yeah. So, I was like, it'd be nice if you have an iPad, right? Where you could sit there and you can sign into your Netflix and you can watch Netflix from your iPad, right? What in the world? Now, listen, that's not it. Case right here. Mm -hmm. oh so you can goodness. put it in the case and you can set it up so you can watch Netflix, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, oh my goodness. Yeah. But wait, there's more. <laughs> there's, there's more. <laughs> what? A charger. An extra long charger, because I don't meters. know where the outlet is. Yeah, well, there's right an outlet there. over there. That's right. so, yeah, I got actually, lucky in here. We have a USB port right here built into the bed. Oh, but it's not USB-C. Yeah. It's a USB -C. Oh, okay. So yeah. it's two meters though. So it's uh, six feet. So it would extend. No, it would fit. Okay. It only mm -hmm. gets better. What else? My is sister. There? My sister here is a artist. She likes to draw and stuff. So got a you. Stylist. Oh man. A pen. But hold Wait, on. There's it's more. <laughs> I found these screen protectors that are for your iPad that makes it feel like paper. So when you're drawing, it'll feel like you're drawing on paper, but it's an iPad. Oh my gosh. Isn't that cool? Wow, thank you guys. You're welcome. Yeah, no and then also, I peeped last night, you said on the phone that um, that the the computer, when you edit on it, that it takes forever. You can get iMovie on there and edit on there. Oh. If you feel, if you if you feel, feel, like, you feel like editing. iMovie, iMovie is free, so yeah. it's like... It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like simple stuff. Like you don't yeah. have to go too crazy. You just do cuts and stuff like yeah. that. And then even if 
you take those cuts and download it and then transfer it onto the laptop or yeah. whatever it is. At least you can get. So well, obviously, like, like you know, yeah. if you want to do that when you're feeling better or whatever. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's um, since you're in for two weeks, like I was thinking like, OK, I was thinking <laughs> it'd be great. You know, if you're in here, you're bored. You can sit here, you can draw. Um, you can use it for FaceTime. You can use it for FaceTime. You can watch Netflix on there. Mm -hmm. And we got you the extension wow. uh, charger. Yeah. This is insane, you guys. And you can use it for daily stuff after you get out of here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. Thank you. Well, thank you, Kyla. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can even <laughs> use it when, um, once you get home and like you're cooking and stuff like that for recipes. And oh, stuff yeah. Like that. yeah. And you can use it for like uh, a to-do list. I'm sitting there pinching app. and like through, scrolling through my phone for the, at the recipe. Exactly. I'm like, darn it, my phone locked again. Yeah, you could use it for that or oh, whatever awesome. you want to do it for. Uh, thank you, you guys. That's okay. <laughs> Thank you. We just had this stuff happen, obviously, like we just had a baby 10 months ago, but like it feels like this all, like it feels like so long ago, but yet so close ago. It's so crazy. But yeah, guys, so we're about to head home now. Excuse my PJs. I just had to get out of the bodysuit. I know my females that wear bodysuits get it. I just needed to take it off because it's just not the most comfortable thing. But we are home now and it's actually 7.08 p.m. We took way longer there than we um, were expecting. See this little head down here? We took way longer there than we were expecting, but that's okay because we kept Chantel some company. But um, Cameron just ran to ShopRite to go grab some stuff for dinner for him and I. But I'm gonna make Kyla a very quick dinner because um, her bath time's in like 20 minutes, so and we're gonna have to push it back a little bit. I don't even think we told you guys this, but Kyla was at the hospital with us. She just couldn't come upstairs because the hospital that she's at, might be every hospital, I don't know. There's a rule that like any child under 12 can't come unless it's the expectant or postpartum mother or child. So obviously Kyla couldn't come up, so Cam's mom was up there. She came down to the lobby and was chilling with Kyla while we went up there and obviously spent some time with Chantel. For Kyla's quick little dinner tonight, I'm gonna be making some chicken nuggets and some spinach or broccoli. Which one do you like? Spinach or broccoli? Which one do you want? Wow. Spinach? Seems like you're more wanting that one. Okay. So you have spinach tonight. So I'm gonna be putting some of these chicken nuggets and then also some of these Dr. Prager's um, spinach littles in the oven for Kyla. Now, obviously this is just like a quick dinner, but these meals are very helpful for me when I like don't have time to do like a full on dinner or really I, I actually don't even really give for dinner. It's mainly like a lunch. If I don't have time to like cook on a full on lunch and she's at the age where like purees she's kind of like over them they're more of like a snack to her she wants to like actually pick things up and eat if i am going to use something frozen i try to do something that i feel comfortable with ingredient wise these um kid fresh white meat chicken nuggets are chicken patties with pureed cauliflower in a whole grain breading so obviously i already introduced her to those allergens only ingredients kyla come this way please come this way please come on good job come on Thank you. The only ingredients in here are chicken breast meat, whole wheat flour, water, period cauliflower, diced onions, wheat flour, cornstarch, salt, yellow corn flour, rice starch, yeast, onion powder, garlic powder, celery seeds, molasses, molasses, leavening, salt, and then um, grain millet flour. And mind you, Cameron and I, like, I mean, you saw. I was drinking Dunkin' Donuts. Like I'm not the most health conscious for myself, but for Kyla, I definitely try to be, try to give her the better things because my diet isn't great, but I want to make sure hers is. And these Dr. Prager's uh, spinach littles are so, so good. The only ingredients are spinach, potatoes, onions, potato flakes, canola oil, egg whites, arrowroot powder, sea salt, and garlic. And these come in like broccoli, um, spinach, obviously, and then uh, sweet potato. So sweet potato would be more of a lunch thing because for Kyla, she gets very, very gassy with sweet potatoes for some reason. I'm gonna throw these in the oven. Usually she'll have like three and three for a lunch. I don't know how like hungry she is right now because she's with her Gigi and she might have had some snacks with her Gigi. So I'm just gonna make three and three. That should be enough for her tonight. And this will literally be done in 10 minutes. And I don't know if I said it before, but usually for dinners with Kyla, I um I usually just make her what I make Cameron and I, but just like either a little less seasoning or I cut it up super small. If we're having chicken breasts, 
with, you know, a whole bunch of seasonings, like Cajun seasoning and that type of thing. I'll kind of make her a variation of it where I'll just take some um, chicken, put it on the side and just do like onion powder and garlic powder just to keep it like a little bit lighter. She'll eat what we eat, but just like the baby version of it. Here you go. Dinner time. <sighs> <laughs> so we have Kyla currently on her like booster seat that we keep on the counter because anytime she eats we're literally right next to her There's no way of any Incidentals happening because we're literally right here every time she's up here But with that being said she is getting taller and I think it's very close to about to be the time where we do need to put together her high chair We were hoping to keep her out of the high chair or like needing to um put together the high chair until we were in our house because it would just be so much easier like moving wise and all that. But because our house was pushed back until like June at this point, um, I don't think that she's gonna be able to last in this thing until June. So soon we're gonna get the high chair put together and baby's gonna be eating out of the high chair. Now, parents with dogs, please let me know I know that there's something called the catchy that um, we actually have for my mom's house and it's like you put it on the high chair and it's kind of like a, it catches it pretty much. But that brand doesn't make one for the high chair that we have for it to be compatible with it. So any parents, let me know what you guys have. Right now we don't have that issue because anything that falls, falls on our counter. We just wipe it up and that's it. But let me know parents what you guys um, use to kind of catch it so that this way the dogs can't get it. If there is something like that, just let me know in the comments.